It's so long needles for one Buffalo diabetic after finding a new way to take his insulin. We first told you about the drug Afreza on Friday. It was approved by the FDA in 2013. It's basically an insulin inhaler, but it works a lot faster than traditional injectable insulin. Tonight, we're asking if this new drug could be a major breakthrough for diabetics. One local man says he's already seeing big results in just a matter of months. News 4's Jen Schantz shares his story tonight. Jen. Callan, Eric Finar has had type 1 diabetes since he was 10. After years of finger pricks and multiple shots a day, he had had it, so he gave this new drug a try. He's the second person in the country to use it and says he wished that he would have discovered it years ago. These days, all Eric Finar needs to do to regulate his blood sugar is breathe. The type 1 diabetic is using a new treatment for diabetes called Afreza. Since February 4th, he's been inhaling his insulin instead of injecting it. Finar researched the drug for months before the FDA gave the green light in 2013. When it was finally on the market, he was at the front of the line. When Afreza finally came available to the public, I had doctor's appointments set up every single week for a month out. Because the day it became available, I wanted to be one of the first. Since he's been on Afreza, his average blood sugar has dropped from 190 to 143, which is near the pre-diabetic range, a place Finar never thought he'd be. There were times when my blood sugar would be two to three hundred, and you're sitting there, you know, you're, and you're just like, ah, oh, because like I said, when you have a high blood sugar, you just, you know, your your vision gets blurry. You know, you're drinking, you, you know, urinate a lot, you just feel yucky. But since February, he hasn't had a blood sugar spike and says he's never felt better. Afreza is still new to the market. It's not okayed for kids yet, and because it's so new, it's not cheap and isn't covered under Medicaid. Could it be the new way to manage diabetes? It's tough to say because it's not necessarily going to replace, um, you know, using insulin in general. It's just making it a much easier um, dosage, uh, much easier uh, you know, form for the patients to be able to use. For a lot of people, the big draw to Afreza is ditching the needles. But for Finar, it's how much faster it works. The old insulin, like I said, was 45 to 60 minutes. This starts to work in 12 to 15. And he hasn't been shy about sharing his positive experience. He's jumped online to Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, getting in touch with diabetics all around the globe, trying to spread the word. I think there's only maybe like 2,000 of us in the U.S. currently on Afreza. Every time I talk to diabetics, and I talk to a lot of diabetics, they've never heard of Afreza. So I'm hoping to change that. Finar hopes to have blood sugar in the non-diabetic range one day. Again, Freza is still new to the market. It's not recommended for children yet, people with asthma, or any respiratory issues. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 10.